The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma. Heavy rains, south winds, pea soup fog. I guess that's uh, what we needed to give the fish a break for the middle of this week. What do you think? I'm Jim Hutchinson with a New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. And Thanksgiving weekend was pretty much gangbusters for much of the central and north Jersey coast, as evidenced by this photo that was sent over to Betty and Nick's uh, picket fence conditions for much of the northern Ocean County and Monmouth County beaches over the weekend. It says it best. Birds, bunker, bass, a few bluefish in the mix as well. From the wash, from Sandy Hook, all the way down to Island Beach, even parts of Long Beach Island as well. I had gotten out with Nick Konicheski on Monday morning. We had that offshore wind and birds and bait were popping up and every once in a while you'd see the bass swirling. Uh, we were able to get on them just a little bit, but ideal conditions. Headed down to Long Beach Island, found the same thing. Pockets of birds and bass moving in in periodic bursts. But again, wasn't the sustained action that we had for the Thanksgiving weekend. But let's hope after this week, after this middle of the week blow, uh, maybe folks are getting back to work, trying to stay dry. I think the next few days are when we could see a gangbusters bite, and hopefully down in South Jersey as well. The weather for the next few days, from Thursday through Sunday, according to NOAA, mostly offshore, west and northwest winds all the way through Sunday. Now what we found in, uh, of late, it seems with those offshore winds, the bait kind of pushes up under the wind, the bass are exploding. Uh, it's also a better opportunity for you to be able to look on those glassy conditions, see the bait movement, see some of those splashes and uh, 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 action on the surface. Uh, load up, they're adults, um, they're peanuts as well, so load up with your various uh, poppers, your pencils, uh, swimming plugs, uh, different size swim shads as well. Um, by boat, Danny DePasquale lets us know that the, the mojo bite continues, and that's one of the things that's really sustained down here in South Jersey. In fact, I'm here at Fanatics in Ocean City, where James Lissio Jr., uh, he had trolled him up off of Ocean City over the weekend, had a bluefish to 20 pounds, and stripers to about 27 pounds. Again, the trolling options, they start to pick up pretty hot and heavy this time. If you look back at the reports from the Fisherman Magazine last year, Ed at Fanatics, he told us this week, last year, he said, quote, if you can't catch one out there, something's wrong. <laughs> Smaller fish were popping up in the wash, the bigger fish on the troll. Um, we talk about it all the time, those various stretch plugs, they seem to be very effective. And the stretches, the Rapala X wraps, the Bomber CDs. The one thing that I would uh, suggest as you're looking at these plugs, each one of them on the back has a real handy guide. Cut this out, put it in your tackle tray where you keep those various swim plugs, those trolling plugs. They'll let you know how much line to let out, um, what kind of braid to use, and how deep to get them 10, 15, 20, 25. Again, also the Mojos. Uh, the folks here at Fanatics say the Mojos have been tough to even keep in stock. It's been the action that has been sustaining the fishery for the last couple of years. Last year was hot. We've also got our first run of ocean stripers in at Lewis Harbor, for example, along the Delaware coast. You guys have been waiting for this for a long time. Lewis Harbor Marina had Evan Falgowski. He checked in a 37.2 pound striper again on the troll. So make sure you keep an eye out in your tackle shop. Find those trolling options. If you're keeping your boat in the water or if you're keeping it on the trailer, follow the migration. Now, other news, our Dreamboat Challenge, it wraps up this week. We have a lot of work to do to add up the final tallies that have come through as of November 30th deadline this week. We will let you know how uh, at the tournament ends up. We've got to certify our winner, let people know. Congratulations to you New Jersey subscribers who won prizes by getting in on those last minute weigh-ins. Dennis Siplak, for example, he weighed in a giant bluefish at the tackle box, took the first slot as far as the deadline time. It was a 24.3 pound monster. And again, some of those monster bluefish are still out there on the grounds as well. We have some good tog action throughout the Jersey and Delaware region that should continue through December all the way up through the holidays. Don Shapiro Jr., he had him on an inshore reef while fishing with Jeff Selinski just the other day. With the water temperatures being what they are, you would expect those tog, it's a little bit warmer than typical late November, December. Those tog are probably going to be in a little bit closer into those near shore or mid-range wrecks. A great opportunity. Um, in addition to the blackfish, some of the party boats continue to sail for jumbo sea bass. 
and also loading up on some good size porgies as well, the Dauntless. She was out over the weekend looking for those giant sea bass and did pretty well with the porgies. So you still have plenty of party boat options if your boat is high and dry for the winter from Atlantic Highlands all the way down to Indian River Inlet. You can find more of that information on who's sailing over at thefisherman.com. While you're there, the big story, of course, is the situation with Fluke. We've gotten preliminary numbers for the 2017 season, upwards of a 40% cut. What that's looking like, from what one person told me, a possibility of going to two fish at 19 inches. Imagine what that'll be like for next year. Again, you can get all the story on that. We've got two different articles about this Fluke situation at thefisherman.com. This Saturday, I'm going to be on Tom P's Rack and Fin Radio, 97.3 ESPN. That's FM out of Atlantic City. We're going to be talking about this fluke madness as well. Now, the December edition is out there, folks. Don't forget about the Holiday Gift Buyer's Guide. We've got plenty of options in there for what you're looking for on the angler's wish list for the year. Uh, they're in tackle shops like Fanatics. You're in uh, uh, all the newsstands. And, of course, you subscribers are getting them at home. Don't forget, folks. Hanukkah, Christmas, it makes a perfect gift. A subscription to the Fisherman Magazine. This weekend, West Winds. I love the West Winds and the surf. Do not forget to get out there. Pack those poppers and load up on the Tsunami Swim Shads. Hit the beach because it could be an epic weekend ahead of us. And what a great way to start the month of December. We'll see you next week here at thefisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Intellux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma.